I mean, it, it, what salaries? You say the players get the same salaries. Our players don't get paid when they go to the tournament. No, no, I mean they make nothing. And they make nothing. Yeah, they make nothing, Brian. I'm saying it's still a pure the IOC makes a fortune off this, no, and, they, and they can talk about redistributing it, and that's largely true. But the players don't get paid for this. No. And Renee said yesterday they get to bring their families over. No, they don't. I can tell you, I've been a GM of four U.S. teams, the World Championships. I love the tournament. I hope we always go. I don't think we should go in Olympic years, but I hope we always go. Our players don't get anything. I think they get, JJ's here, I think they got $1,000 for 22 days of work last year. $1,000 and they got one business class ticket to bring over their wife or a parent or a brother. They, they didn't bring their families over unless they reached into their own pockets and paid for it. These guys are volunteers. They're there representing their countries. They don't get paid. Everyone makes money off these tournaments except the players and the NHL teams. So th this is, when we talk about these things, I'm with Ralph on the national teams. We went uh, to this year's, uh, in the Olympic year, we went to the World Championships in Germany. We had a great experience there. We were fortunate enough to play the Germans in the soccer stadium at Gelsenkirchen. 78,000 fans, it was awesome. Uh, our team was a team that had 14 new players. We only had one Olympian. We couldn't get any of the Olympians to come except for Jack Johnson. And mainly because of maintenance issues. You know, like. NHL teams at the end of a season for the World Championship, a year ago we had seven surgical procedures on the Toronto Maple Leafs. This year we had three. So there's ten guys in two years are out of commission at the end of the year. But these guys go as volunteers and play in this tournament that makes a lot of money and then fly back. So to me, if we're talking about this, yes, I think the players should get paid if they're going to participate. And yes, the, if the business model is hurt, the Olympics don't hurt the Toronto Maple Leafs. It doesn't hurt our business model. But in Anaheim, it does. In Nashville, it does. In Florida, it does. So, Sherry, you can grab the mic. Where are you, Sherry? It's a cheap way to get a round of applause and say, don't tell me about the problems. I get paid to think about the problems. It's not that simple to get everyone on a goddamn plane and go over and play the games. That's what I'm trying to explain. And I want to go. And I think we should go. But for people who say it's priceless, we've got to go, it's not that simple. We have teams that are losing $30 million a year. You think they want me to stand up at a meeting and say, I don't want to hear about the problems. Let's get on a plane. It's not that simple. And we're letting it become an emotional issue in this room. We got to go. I want to go too. But it has to work for everybody. Bill, financial impact. I mean, could the NHL's concerns, again, logistics aside, be lessened if there was a financial share, a considerable share? Gary mentioned it before. I mean, it's it's not something that we have ever added to the equation. Um, I, I I wanted to really respond because I agree both with everything Brian just said, but also everything Glenn said. I, I think you know I, I think there are a lot of solutions. I think there are a lot of things that need to be done better uh, to make the NHL and the NHL clubs feel better about participating in the Olympics. And I do think the people in this room mostly underestimate the real issues and problems that Olympic participation cause. Because everybody talks about the great benefits, and there are benefits involved in participating in the Olympics, but there are also burdens. And, and I don't think there's a, there's a real good understanding in this room of the burdens. Question from the floor. Your name and question. Yeah, my name. Oh. Um, wow, I can see you. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Great to be here. One more time, guys. Uh, we've got unbelievable uh, international experience. I won Olympic, Stanley Cup, and Canada Cup. Uh, I think it's uh, all you discussed today. Ralph's great presentation. It's, uh, I really like it. And if you're going to get good benefits in Edmonton for what you said, but, uh, uh, <coughs> Bill, you internationally, you're not the Canadians and the U.S. anymore. You get third of the players from Europe, and um, you want to see our best players to play in the biggest stage to represent their countries. Especially they wanted to play, 95% they proved. And, uh, KHL spent lots of money to develop players. 
and you get them almost for nothing from Europe to fill the arenas, to make the money, and to losing money. Bad management, you lose the money, good management, you make the money. But you're talking about the, the game. And lots of people who work with the juniors, with the big team, with the athletes, they wanted to see the best and best. And the bigger stage is the Olympic game. And play three, I call each one. I've been minister in a, another one. And I think it's, uh, you should put on the side the business how much the Olympic Committee going to pay for NHL for participation. And we need uh, to develop the young players, we're going to give them a goal. Somebody in Europe doesn't want to play in NHL, he wants to play in the uh, Olympic Games. Some of them want to play in World Cup, Canada Cup, whatever. I think it's, uh, you have to be aware of the people in Russia who love the game, the same as Canada. I think it's people in Sweden. Why is Anders so, so push for the Olympic Games? Because he know what's the value of the, of the gold medal. And I think it's, we should give a chance to Avechkin and Malkin for a match in Sochi against Crosby. I think it uh, would be fair enough to give Jens and Swiss and Finns and Brian, American team, to, to finally get another miracle. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Speeches, not questions. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, we'll push away from the Olympics coming up momentarily, but Bill, very quickly, 